Okay, this video will take you through six easy steps to using a centigram or quadruple beam balance. Step one is you want to get your balance pan to be clean. You don't want any debris and nothing in it, so just give that a quick wipe. Put that set there. Now you're ready for step two, which is to set all of your riders on zero. Because if it's off just a teeny bit on any of these, if they're off, it's going to affect your reading. So all of these are on zero. That's good. Now we, we want to do what's known as zeroing the balance. And that means getting this little line right here lined up with the zero line. So our line on our, our beam here lined up with the zero here. Right now I'm a little bit low. So I'm going to use what's known as the zeroing knob. That's this guy right over here. And I'm going to adjust that so my beam comes up just a little bit. I want more weight out this way. To do that I'm going to tilt it back. Okay, a silly little trick to remember this is if you want your line to come up, you turn away. I tell kids um, think of Superman when he takes off, up, up, and away. So, up, away. So give it a good turn, and you'll notice a change. And hopefully that was enough. Yep, it's hard to see in the video here, but it's pretty much perfect right now. So I'm good to go. My balance is now zeroed. And now I'm going to go to step four, and I'm going to place my item in the balance pan. There it is, and now it's immediately off balance. So I have to work with these riders here to get it into balance. And I start out back. It's kind of a little bit of trial and error, but I go to 100. That is too much. So we know it's less than 100 grams of mass. So I'm going to guess up here 60 is not enough. How about 70? 70 is too much. So we know it's 60 something. So we're going to, again, I work my way forward with the riders. How about 65? Let's try that. Again, trial and error. Not enough. 60. How about 68? 68 is too much. 67 is not quite enough. So it's going to be 67 point something. So my last rider is a fraction of a gram. Every little unit on here represents a fraction of a gram. I'm moving in a little closer so you get a better look at this. So if you notice this, this is 0.5, right? 0.5 and then every large increment on here, if you notice, is going to be a tenth of a gram. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so forth. So again, it's trial and error. I'm going to get this to balance. So let's start off with 0 0.5. 0 0.5 brings it too low, if you can get a look at that. It's, it's a little too low. I'll actually lower this down so you can get a nice straight on look at what we're talking about. All right, that's better for now, at least. So you can see we have to come up a little bit. So if 0.5 is too much, I'm going to bring this over. And the pencil really works well to tap this over a bit. All right, so 0.3 is still too much. Let's tap it over. How about 0.2? OK, so we're down into 0.1 or less. OK. We are just the tiniest little hair too much, so I'm going to tap it a little bit to the right. And we notice that that comes down in line perfectly. So, what is our reading here? Well, we're going to go up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. We have 60. The, our hundreds is zero. So we have 67 point, and this reading here, the way you're going to read this, 
is we have every little minor line here is a hundredth of a gram. And when we're talking hundreds, we're hundredths. It's 0 0.01 is one hundredth, right? So this is 0.1, okay? And then we have five little lines over from 0.1. So it's a lot like money, so this is like 10 cents, this is like 20 cents, so this would be 0.15. So my total reading here, 